today we will analyze these three structure for different modeling type of slab that means we will analyze these three structure for shell thin type of slab shell thick type of slab and membrane type of slab at first let me show you what we have considered here go to define material properties here we have considered 3000 psi concrete then we have considered here beam section 12 by uh, 21 we have used property modifiers 0.35 for uh, moment of inertia about 2 axis and 3 axis then we have considered here 60 grade of rebar similarly for column we have considered uh, 15 inch by 15 inch column section in property modifiers we have used 0.7 for moment of inertia about 2 axis and 3 axis then in reinforcement we have considered here 60 grade of steel then go to section property slab section here at first we have just considered uh, slab 6 inch and modeling type is shell thin at first we will analyze these three structure for same modeling type so that i can show you that for all three structure um, data provided by the etabs or result provided by the etabs are same okay now uh, let me show you uh, load assignment here in frame we have assigned wall load so from here select wall load change the unit you can see that we have assigned 6 kN per meter wall load for all the beam then go to partition wall load here we have assigned uh, 5 kN per meter partition wall load if we need to check load assignment for shell then go to live load from here you can see that we have assigned 2 kN uh, per meter square live load for all the slabs similarly for air uh, for floor finish we have uh, taken 2 kN per meter square floor finish ok let me also show you what we have considered for um, load pattern earthquake here for earthquake x we have just uh, checked mark on x direction plus eccentricity and x direction minus eccentricity all other values are default values of etaps then similarly eqy we have just uh, checked mark on y direction plus eccentricity and y direction minus eccentricity all other values are default values of etaps then go to define go to load combination here we have taken uh, 10 load combination which uh, has been created by etabs or you can say default design combos of etabs from here you can uh, see these are the scale factor okay now we will at first uh, check the model and also note that for all three structure we have assigned peak support here So there is no warning now we can analyze the structure okay analysis done actually here we do not need uh, this window now go to design concrete frame design start uh, at first we can uh, check uh, design combination then we will go for concrete frame design start design check okay at first we will check uh, the result for column so we will uh, go to select select object type from here we will select column now just uh, show selected objects only here this one this column and this column are similar or we can uh, check them from plan view show all objects go to plan view story to apply from here select all stories we will select this column this column and this column okay 
now show selected objects only go to 3d view from here you can see 2 to 1 0 1 4 5 2 2 to 1 0 1 4 5 2 2 to 1 0 1 4 5 2 that means similar for all three column now go to show all objects again go to plan view then you can check any beam here you can see that uh, for all the beam results are similar we can check uh, bending moment diagram for uh, these three beams so go to show selected objects only okay then go to 3d view from here we will go to uh, show or display frame uh, a member force diagram for frame pair spindle from here you can select any of the combo then click on apply here we can select show values arc okay here you can see for all three structure uh, the values are same the values of moments are same 26.56 uh, maximum value uh, 26.56 also for here 26.56 5624 26.5624 then for this one minus 13.0789 minus 13.0789 minus 13.0789 that means similar for all three beam or all three structure now we will just change the modeling type of slab we will now just change the modeling type of slab okay so uh, unlock the model unlock the model now go to define section property slab section we will take a copy of this one so go to add copy of property from here i will name this one as slab uh, six thick then in modeling type i will just uh, select shell thick six inch slab okay now again add copy of property this time i will take slab six membrane okay slab six membrane from modeling type i will select membrane slab thickness is same now for these two slab for these two slab assign um, shell slab section for these two slab i am assigning here slab six inch thick okay that means slab shell thick click on apply now for this two slab just assign shell six membrane okay that means slab six inch membrane from here you can um, watch this more clearly okay now we will analyze this three structure then we will go for design concrete frame design start design check okay uh, now we will go to the plan view story 2 okay from here select all stories show selected objects only go to 3d view here uh, required reinforcement is 2 to 1 0 for shell thin type of slab at story 2 also uh, same for shell thick type of slab at story 2 but for membrane type of slab required reinforcement ratio, uh, reinforcement ratio or required uh, reinforcement for column is higher that is 2 3 5 7 okay that means for uh, membrane type of slab we um, for membrane type of slab uh, we need uh, more re reinforcement in column okay similarly we will go for other columns okay we will go for other columns so from here show all objects we will uh, select this column this column and this column okay from here we can select all stories then again go uh, select them all okay from here select all stories this column this column and this column okay now show selected objects only go to 3d view here also we can see that uh, okay here we can see that required reinforcement for uh, shell thin type of slab is 4 4 
uh, 8-4. Okay, for shell thick type of slab, required reinforcement is 4485. That means little bit higher or 1 mm square higher. But for uh, this one, that means uh, for shell, sorry, for membrane type of slab, required reinforcement for column is 4691. Okay, let me uh, check their bending moments. Okay, here you can see for this column 22.1968 okay but for this column uh, that means uh, for shell thick type of slab little bit higher moment that is 2 to 22.219 here uh, this value was 22.1968 okay kilo newton meter but for a membrane type of slab uh, required moment or calculated moment is maximum that is 27.4848 and the, uh, and as a result we required uh, less reinforcement in shell thin type of slab than little bit higher or 1 mm square higher reinforcement in in shell thick type of slab and maximum uh, reinforcement for membrane type of slab that means uh, column for the uh, membrane type of slab okay now we will uh, go for beam design so from here select show all objects then uh, uh from here just uh, select one deformed shape we will check result for this three beam at first okay so selected objects only now go to uh, display sorry go to design concrete frame design display design info from here we can check total longitudinal reinforcing here we can see that for all three beam no for this one and this one that means for shell thin and shell uh, thick type of beam required reinforcement is same but for a uh, membrane type of slab we can see that the design of beam is little bit uh, different that is here a uh, positive moment is governing and as a result more uh, is still is uh, required at the mid span at the bottom mid of this beam between these three that is here this this value was for uh, 77 here this value was also similar for 77 but for this beam here reinforcement is uh, 553 mm square now we will go for other beams show all objects this one we will select okay we can uh, check them from here also we can check them from here okay similar almost similar uh, for this beam uh, for this three beam okay but here you can see um, okay similar here similar here but for this one uh, higher positive moment at uh, middle bottom that means we can uh, say that if we uh, design a structure we will uh, uh, if we design a structure as a shell thin in that case we will uh, get less reinforcement less column section if we consider them as shell thick we will get little bit more uh, reinforcement in column beam etc but if we consider a, uh, a structure uh, or if we consider a slab as a membrane in that case we will get higher reinforcement values for column beam etc okay finally it's up to you uh, it's up to your judgment and situation that which type of uh, slab modeling you will consider during analysis in etaps that's all for today see you in the next tutorial thank you